why are hormones changing? First, you gotta know you're not alone. Every man around you is experiencing changing hormones, even if they don't feel it. Not everyone has bad side effects, but even that's more common than you might think. One third of guys in their 30s have hormonal imbalances and low testosterone. It's also all too common for men to suffer silently and miss out on decades of happiness because they were too afraid to ask for help. If you're dealing with hormonal imbalances, we're here to tell you not to feel ashamed or discouraged because A, it's totally normal. B, some of it is out of your control, so it doesn't say anything bad about who you are as a person. And C, the parts that are in your control often require small and simple lifestyle changes to get back on track. The best part, you're already here taking your first step and changing your life. Go you. First, let's talk about what you can't control, so you might as well let go of the stress and spend your brain power on something more fun. As you get older, you will have less testosterone. Men over 30 lose 1% to 1.5% of their natural supply of testosterone every year. While we haven't yet measured this effect on how this makes men feel, we can see its negative impact on our virility. Sperm count in men has dropped 50% from 1973 to 2011. The exact cause is still not confirmed, but scientists think fertilizers, phthalates, and PCBs from our water, food, and air are to blame. They mimic estrogen in our body and are tricking our brain and producing less testosterone. These chemicals can even alter our gene expression. That means you could pass on lower sperm count or testosterone onto the next generation, and their numbers will in turn be lowered even further by environmental factors. We know it sounds stressful, but we're going to ask you to take a deep breath because the thing you can control is, well, your own stress. Things like lack of sleep, stressful jobs, drinking too much alcohol, smoking, or even blue light from our screens can all contribute to lower testosterone levels. So reducing some of those things and zenning out your life can be a major help. The other thing that can help is working with your physician to find ways to fight the imbalance being caused by things you can't control. Hone can help you feel good for longer despite what's going on inside your body. While the medical community is focused on figuring out what's causing men to struggle with testosterone levels now more than ever, we're focused on helping individuals like you stop feeling ashamed and step up to get the help they deserve.